By now, you've already heard of the terms sperm and eggs. And not just because we've used these words so many times already in the course. In biology, sperm and eggs are referred to as gametes. Gametes are the reproductive cells that come together at fertilization to produce a new individual. Previously, you've learned that gametes are made in the gonads. Specifically, sperm cells are produced in the testes, whilst eggs are made in the ovaries. But have you ever wondered just how sperm and eggs are made in these organs? Hopefully the answer is yes, because in this video, I'll introduce you to six sexy facts about sperm and egg production. And after this video, you'll be able to compare the process and timing of gamete production in males and females. So let's start with one, the name. Gamete production is referred to as spermatogenesis in the male and oogenesis in the female. This is because spermato refers to sperm, oo refers to oocytes or eggs, and genesis means create or produce. Two, location. Spermatogenesis occurs externally within the seminiferous tubules of the testes, whilst oogenesis occurs inside the body in the outer layer of the ovaries. Three, timing. In males, spermatogenesis is a continuous process that begins at puberty and continues until death. But in females, oogenesis begins in a fetus before birth, then continues at puberty and ends at menopause, which is around 50 years of age. Four, division. Gametes are formed through a process of cell division called meiosis. During meiosis, one parent's stem cell divides twice to form four daughter cells. These four daughter cells have only half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell. The parent cell is referred to as diploid, meaning two sets of chromosomes, whilst the daughter cell is referred to as haploid, meaning one set of chromosomes. Five, number. The number of sperm and eggs produced from each stem cell after meiosis is different. In males, every stem cell, called a spermatogonium, gives rise to four sperm cells. Now this is important because it means that hundreds of millions of sperm can be quickly created and released in males. But in females, each stem cell, called an oogonium, only gives rise to a single egg. Now this is okay because an egg becomes a baby and most women only want one baby at a time. The remaining three cells that are produced are called polar bodies. They are much smaller than the egg because the egg steals most of the cytoplasm of the oogonium. Unfortunately for polar bodies, they don't have a long life and they quickly die and are discarded. And finally, six, release. In males, sperm are released any time ejaculation occurs. But in females, an egg is only released midway during each month-long female reproductive cycle. This process is called ovulation. So that's it. If these six sexy facts about gamete production have motivated you to learn more, don't worry. There is more to come. I've summarized all of the differences in a table below this video. On the next page, you'll be able to explore and compare the stages and timing of sperm and egg production in more detail.